The Trains franchise is now 20 years old, and to commemorate this anniversary, it's time to take a look back on the first ever Trains games, the original Trains and Ultimate Trains Collection, also known as UTC. These games were released in 2002, and were pioneers for their time. So, let's dive into their secrets. This is the UTC Iceberg. Demo Version this is a demo version that contains a fraction of the content and only one route, that being City and Country USA. It's free for download and can be found online. Interesting it uses the GUI from UTC. When quitting, this screen flashes on it right here. 2016 free offer. In 2016, for the franchise's 15th anniversary, a free trial for about a month or so was offered for the full original version of Trains. After that, it became pay to play until someone in the comments just uploaded the files to Mediafire. Reference Database This is a website owned by Oren that miraculously hasn't gone down yet. It has many reference photos, information pages and more. Most use real life photos, but some use train surrenders from UTC, or just no photos at all. Trains Paint Shed Paint Shed was a feature of UTC that let players create their own simplified reskins of several trains, which kickstarted the modding community by a rather fair amount. This feature would stay in the game series all the way up until Trains 2009. However, to compensate, the blanks that were used for Paint Shed would be made drivable without any editing through Content Manager, although this was withdrawn in Trains 2010. PEV Soft PEV Soft was a series of Trains asset creation tools made to streamline the process of asset creation. I use these tools almost 24-7 when reskinning and I have a download link in the description where you can get the tools. Original Root Names The beloved routes we all know and love were all renamed for UTC in 2004. British Midlands was originally called Britain. Outback Australia was Gumtree Australia, which was called Australia. City and Country USA was called North American Plains, which was called North America. The Black Forest was German Festivals. Electric Commuter was British Commuter. And Winter in the Alps was called Alpine Pass. Original Asset Names In, U in UTC, many of the assets were mercifully renamed to the names we have today. The old ones had sorting by class instead of railway, inconsistent naming, obscure naming, and the absolute disaster that is the Erz Eid Hoppers. I mean, just look at this. 